Hello guys and gals, and welcome uh, to another episode of a skills, no wait, not skills and abilities, unique items! I almost messed up my own intro. Uh, on this episode of unique items, we're going to be going over a pair of pants for the rogue known as Eyes in the Dark. Eyes in the Dark is a specific pair of pants that is definitely for trap rogues. I don't want to say trap sins because... I'm so used to saying trap sin from Diablo 2, but this is a trap rogue. Now, what is this particular trap? Well, it's the death trap. So I'm going to go ahead and take my points out of uh, Reign of Arrows for the moment. Uh, we're going to put them into death trap just so that we can show this off. Now, what do Eyes in the Dark have? Well, Eyes in the Dark can roll as Sacred or they can roll as Ancestral. Um, you do need to be in World Tier 3 or World Tier 4, respectively, to get access to those Sacred and Ancestral versions. I do not believe you can get a pair in world tier two or one um they have while injured your potion also grants a 13 30 percent movement speed for two seconds uh 2.7 percent dodge chance which does roll as high as 4.1 and of course these can these can be upgraded significantly so once you get into like um you know the ancestral versions and you have like an 800 plus item level pair of eyes in the dark these these stats actually do go up quite a bit uh, they also have 7.5% shadow damage, 5 to 10. 15.5% uh, damage to elites, which is always nice because elites are usually the ones you have trouble with. 11.5 uh, to 16.5 there. As well as 8.5% damage to enemies affected by trap skills, uh, which is 5 to 10%. Um, now, the most important um, effect on these pair of pants is the effect that says, unless it hits a boss or player, Death Trap will continue to rearm itself until it kills all enemies. However, Death Trap's cooldown is increased by 15%, um, which is currently the cap because it rolls between 30 to 15. So 15, you want the lower number here uh, because it's going to increase the cooldown less. Now, when you put on these pants, um, it's going to basically enable Death Trap to be able to just be spammed on a target. Um, so unless it hits a boss or a player, it will never stop rearming itself, which is actually pretty darn amazing. Um, so let's go down here and take a look at this. And uh, normally what happens is Death Trap goes off once, and that's it. It's not going to continue to go off. Um, now these monsters are kind of uh, high level, so this probably is going to work pretty well. And we didn't have an Elite in there. Did I put on the pants? I did put on the pants. Hmm. Maybe it's because... Well, there shouldn't have been... What the hell is that? What's this? A time more in a Timmy doll. Let's wait for the cooldown to come back up. Yeah, that is a fortunate thing about Death Trap, is it does have a rather long cooldown. You can actually put down multiple death traps, though, which is interesting. And if you can get cooldown reduction or cooldown reduction on skills and things like that, it does actually help a little bit. There we go. Now it's working. Now it's working. As you can see here, there's no elite and there's no... Uh, sorry, there's no boss or player inside this circle. So the death trap is currently rearming itself over and over again until the monsters are killed. Um, and, it, and it just keeps rearming itself until the monster that triggered... I'm pretty sure it's the monster that triggered the trap. So it has to specifically be the monster that triggered the trap. Um, is the one that, that dies. Um, which is unfortunate because that doesn't mean that it rearms itself forever. But it does continue to rearm itself until the monster that triggered the trap dies. Now, because it's not including bosses, obviously that would be like one of the best things, because that would just continually rearm over and over again until everything was dead, right? Um, but this is just going to continually rearm itself until just that particular boss is dead, or that monster is dead. And of course it stops because I died. This, these monsters are way higher level than me. I don't even know why I'm doing this here in the freaking level 74 zone. But um, I think it helps to show off how Death Trap works, though, because honestly, like it, if the usefulness of this is highly dependent on a couple factors. So first off, it will continue to rearm itself, but if the monster that triggered the trap is a little weakling and dies really quickly, well, then it's not going to do very much damage. Um, however, if the monster that triggers the trap is a, a big monster, a, a tougher monster, then you're actually going to get some pretty good damage out of it. 
Um, and, and this is going to come to a skill level thing because you're going to want to make sure that the bigger monsters are triggering the trap so that the trap continues, you know, for as long as you can possibly have let it, you know, continue. Um, elites, you know, monsters that have, like, <clears throat> bonus health mods, suppressor mods, explosion mods, and all of other stuff. It's definitely going to do a lot of damage to those specific monsters. And honestly, if you're using Death Trap, this is some pretty sweet pants. The unfortunate side effect of these pants, though, is that it doesn't really help you versus bosses all that much. I mean, yeah, you get the damage to elites on the pants, you get the uh, shadow damage, um, and you get the damage to enemies affected by trap skills, but the effect itself is not going to help you versus any of the bosses, and in fact, it's actually going to slow down your damage versus bosses because it's going to increase the cooldown of Death Trap. As you can see, without the pants, I am sitting at a cooldown of 50 seconds. And with the pants, I am sitting at a cooldown of 57.5. Now, um, you can put, as far as I remember, up to, th I think it's three death traps down at any given time. Um, so if I sit here and I just wait, um, I can place down three death traps. Um, and, you know, you could potentially have some pretty high damage output on an elite or a... Uh, you know, like a higher level monster. Um, but if it's only going to, like, for instance, like, say this warg right here, which is one of the weaker monsters, if he triggers the trap first, or if one of the little baby spiders triggers the trap first, then it's it's not really going to do as much damage. Um, and so I think these pants are kind of like hit or miss. They're, they're either going to do an amazing amount of damage if a really high level, like high HP, um, you know, monster with it is difficult to kill triggers it, but they're also going to do relatively nothing if a low HP, you know, like a little spider or something triggers it. Because, of course, he's going to get, like, one shot. And the trap is just going to just going to fall off relatively quickly. Um, so whether or not you use these pants, I'm not really sure. I almost feel like this is the kind of stuff that you would want to swap in as necessary for specific things. Like, what do I mean by this? Well, you might want to have, like, another pair of pants just, like, sitting around in your inventory. And, you know, when you're utilizing your dark you know your trap versus like elites and things like that you could put these pants on and then when you're fighting like trash mobs or bosses monsters where this these things aren't really going to have a huge benefit you could put your other pants back on um i mean somebody might catch you with your butt hanging out but I <laughs> uh, but as you can see here i could put down another trap there we go we got now we've got two death traps and i'm pretty sure that the maximum number that we can put down is three um so it'll be interesting to see how these work with three uh three I'll, I'll drag these monsters into the death trap and we'll see how that works i'll just hit them with a with a basic attack because i want to make sure that uh, they don't they take as least amount of damage as they possibly can um as you can see there's no maximum duration on the death trap so it's not like the death trap is going to disappear um, until the monsters come over and actually you know step in it um, and according to the way the skill works, it's not going to disappear either until the monster that triggers the trap dies. So once the monster that triggers the trap dies, then then you will finally get, um, you know, all of them gone. Now, of course, you can also put down three and wait for the cooldown to completely finish, and then you'll have a fourth trap which you can place down at some point. But if you do place down a fourth trap right now, like if I were to have three traps up and then place down a fourth, it'll just delete the, the other one. All right, so now I have three of these overlapping, which I think is a good test. So let's just go ahead and uh, summon forth some monsters. And as you can see, the spider, which was the the first one that triggered the trap, immediately died because it was three traps, and and it did not re-trigger. So unfortunately, because of the way that it works, um, it might not be as useful as it sounds. But it definitely still seems to be pretty useful when you're fighting those bigger monsters, those those elite monsters that are going to take a long time to kill. Um, and I and I think they still have decent useful use case scenarios. But the unfortunate way that it works, and the fact that it only tries to kill the one monster that actually triggers the trap, um, or until it kills basically any enemy, is you know just kind of like not as good as it seems um you know I, I honestly think this would be better if instead of rearming itself 
repeatedly until it kills an enemy. It would be better if it just rearmed itself a certain number of times. Perhaps they could have, uh, they could change this in the future so that it just simply rearms itself like three times or four times or something. Um, it'd probably be a lot more useful that way on the whole because you wouldn't have it constantly deactivating just simply because it kills one little baby spider or one little baby maggot or, or one little weak monster that anybody can kill. Um, it does have some flavor text on it, and it says, And so, when the sun dipped behind the hills each night, he knew that Ashen Jack would be would soon be near. Watching and waiting, Green Slade's Tales, Chapter 2, Each Long Night. Um, I think that this is an interesting pair of pants, and if I was a trapper, I'm probably going to use them. Um, just simply because I probably will be using Death Trap. I'm not entirely sure, but I probably will be using Death Trap. Um, I have some plans for a trap assassin, uh, tra <laughs> trap assassin, a trap rogue, and uh, and it's probably going to be using poison trap as well as um, I'll probably be tagging on caltrops and some other things in there. I'm not exactly sure yet. Uh, I still need to do the theory craft on that. Um, but in death trap seems like a pretty decent one. It pulls all the enemies in, which is certainly not bad. Um, and it also, uh, you know, if it kills an enemy, it gets a cooldown reduction, which is certainly not terrible. So like you could, it, it does allow you to spam it quite a bit. I mean, and that's one thing I guess that this does, is it makes sure that the Death Trap kills something, which ensures that you are going to get that 10 second reduction. So no matter what, the Death Trap will get a kill. And it will get you the 10 second reduction, no matter what. Which almost kind of counters the cooldown increase that it gives you. Um, like entirely. Because uh, basically, if it guarantees you a kill, no matter what, it's going to take 10 seconds off, even though it's adding 7.5 seconds, you're getting a net decrease, because you can't always guarantee that Death Trap is going to kill something for its duration. Whereas this is essentially guaranteeing a kill. Anyway, as always, I do appreciate you guys and gals watching my videos, even when we're just yakking about the eyes in the dark. Uh, and as always, keep watching.